In May 2021, the eyes of the whole world were focused on Syria. Simply, it was the imperialist West against the axis of resistance. The war on Syria widely recognized as one of the most vicious wars in history, a war lasting for 10 years, which has destroyed the infrastructure and economic facilities in a country that has been confronting the U.S. and Turkish occupations along with their terrorist proxies. The Syrian people has faced the illegal and immoral sanctions imposed by the great powers and theft of their country's resources. I think now what we are witnessing from mm -hmm. the West, and in particular from the UK and the US, is now uh, a vindictive, brutal policy against the Syrian people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Syria defeated the imperialist project mm -hmm. uh, that was waged against them for 10 years and that was planned many years before 2011. There is documentation to prove this. So now we have uh, an imperialist cabal which is defeated effectively and it is declining in power. Mm -hmm. And so what it wants to do is to punish the people of the country that defeated it. And Syria and its allies defeated the imperialist uh, exactly. alliance. Yet Syrians are still selflessly offering sacrifices. When the West sensed the failure of their plans, the war of information led by the Western mainstream media outlets started to undervalue and diminish the credibility of the Syrian election. I would start by um, noting that the countries that I am from, America and Canada, um, before the last presidential elections in 2014, they closed the Syrian embassy specifically to prevent Syrians from exercising their, their right to participate in democratic uh, presidential elections. So my comment about Syria haters has to do with that. And in general, the coverage of Syria, which in Western media has excluded the vast majority of Syrians, not giving them a, vo a voice. Then by doing so, they're excluding the fact on the ground, the reality that Syrians overwhelmingly chose uh, the president, Shah al-Assad, and respect and love him. Moreover, the countries that brag about democracy and human rights denied the Syrian expatriates their constitutional right, thus revealing a clear fear of the results. They want to sell you to sham, and they can't even prove it. They have not a shred of evidence to prove that it's fake. Are you going to tell us about Syrian citizens not being able to vote in Germany, in Canada, in France, because they were blocked from going to the consulate? Are you going to tell us about that? On May 20th, 2021, the Syrians abroad rushed to the polls, achieving an unprecedented participation rate that exceeded all the Western expectations to prove that the national constants are not subject to blackmail or concession. They proved to the whole world that the Syrian Arab citizens will always be free wherever they are. Syrians abroad presented a civilized national example for true democracy through high turnout and spectacular discipline. Syria has received several supportive messages from political and public figures congratulating the Syrian people and urging them to continue their resistance by rejecting Western hegemony and choosing their president who will guarantee the stability of their country. A 
On May 26, 2021, all eyes turned to Syria. The polling centers opened their doors to the Syrian voters from early morning until midnight, and the Syrian voters flocked in huge numbers before hours of initiating the voting to prove to the world once again that they are resilient people who will never surrender to external dictates. The constitutional rightful event turned into a day of victory with unprecedented public participation that enriched the national unity, punctuated by celebrations and rallies in support of President al-Assad, who won an overwhelming majority which clearly proved to the world that despite all the Western attempts to demonize him, his faith in his homeland and the mutual trust between him and his people can never be shaken. الحراك الذي رأيناه خلال الأسابيع الماضية كان الرد الكافي والواضح على كل هؤلاء وهو يقول لهم قيمة آراءكم هي صفر وقيمتكم عشر أصفار Many Arab and international media outlets have witnessed and covered the Syrians' love and loyalty to President al-Assad through massive rallies that swept all the Syrian governorates. Many observers saw firsthand the Assad's victory in the elections was not just a victory for a man over his enemy, but rather a victory of an entire nation against which the world stood and fought tirelessly. I think the most important thing about the recent election is that the participation rate was so high. It was much higher than the previous election in 2014, and it was very obvious that it was very high. So whatever the Western media, the corporate and colonial and state media wanted to say, it was very obvious that there was a very strong turnout, and that's what really matters in many respects. It, it must have demoralized the states that have been engaged in this very long war against Syria to see that <clears throat> the Syrian people are not breaking from their commitment to uh, the Syrian state and support for President Bashar al-Assad. So I think it, it, it's a very important demoralization of the enemy, to put it that way, and an important landmark in terms of um, forcing the enemy to gradually disengage from this very long and terrible war. However, the Syrians refused to succumb and proved that the truth cannot be defeated and that all acts of injustice and aggression can never prevail. Syrians have won and freely chose their leader.